Shalom, Shalom, Shalom to the 12 tribes of Israel that have been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Shalom. The purpose of this video is to make an announcement concerning Passover 2020. Um, as you all know, we have big plans for Passover this year. And uh, we always look forward to, you know, um, Hebrews, Israelites coming from all over the United States and other parts of the world to gather together for Pesach. Um, for sure, it's been one of the greatest uh, events of the awakening to be able to keep Passover together. And many thousands and thousands of people have got to know each other and have gotten closer together and become lifelong uh, mishpacha, lifelong family as a result of our Passover gatherings. And um, But this year, of course, because of the coronavirus, we're not going to be able to do our large group Passover meeting. As a matter of fact, with the new government restrictions on large crowds gathering, um, they have limited our area to 10, 10 people, which is not a crowd at all. And so therefore, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have our, um, our gathering. I was, you know, trying to wait until the last minute to, to make sure that it would become, you know, that it would be government imposed before I made the video. And, um, of course the, the news came out earlier this week that Fresno is not going to allow any large gatherings. And of course, at this point, pretty much most of the city has been shut down. So as much as I long to see you, and as much as I want, or oh, I look forward to us gathering together, unfortunately, we're just not gonna be able to host the, uh, the Passover celebration this year. But we have made uh, preparations and plans to uh, make sure that every day of Passover we're going to be recording. And each day of Passover we're going to record somewhere that we can get um, internet so that we can live stream um, the Passover. So what does that mean? Of course, it means several things. First of all, it means that just because we're not going to have the large gathering does not mean that we all are not going to keep Passover. No, we're going to keep Passover. And we're going to, if you, no matter where you are, if you're at home with just you or if, you, if you're not under certain restrictions and you want to gather together with a few friends, of course, um, we keep the Passover. We keep the feast. And we keep the feast for seven days. We'll also use that time for Bible study, for prayer. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, every day we're going to try to live stream so that no matter where you're keeping the Passover, um, you will always, you will have an opportunity to gather with the rest of the um, the world or those are going to be, you know, working with the awakening remnant during that time. We're going to be, I should say, worshiping with the awakening remnant. That way we can all worship together. Um, also, for those of you who have already booked your airline tickets, this is a good time to call and make arrangements that I know that you're not going to be using those tickets. You can also um, ask or request the airline, maybe allow you to get a voucher so that those of you who are coming out for Passover, you can um, use that to come out to Sukkot because we are still planning to do Sukkot and that would be something that, that you can do. Um, so you wanna make sure you call them. If you were, if you've already uh, booked a hotel and you need to make an arrangements, please call the hotel directly, explain to them the situation. Believe me, everybody in Fresno already knows about what's going on with the coronavirus and therefore they're very accommod uh, accommodating right now. I'm also gonna ask that everybody please spread the, spread the message um, because not everybody gets a chance to see these videos, especially if I don't live stream a lot of times um, the 
algorithm of the video doesn't post immediately on people's sites. So make sure that you not only subscribe, but like and share this particular video with everybody that you know that was gonna come to our Passover celebration or, or who had even thought about coming. Let them know that this year, you know, based on the coronavirus, we're not gonna be able uh, to gather. Remember that uh, Passover is eight days long, so we, we don't wanna forget the fact that there is also the Feast of Unleavened Bread, where we remove all of the leaven from the house and we don't eat any leavened bread until the eight days are completed. Um, yes, so the registration is obviously uh, have been closed. If you have any further questions concerning Passover, the, counts the cancellation of the large group event or anything like that, please feel free to um, contact the Awakening Remnant at awakeningremnant.info all right awakeningremnant.info and of course our administrators can um, definitely get more information concerning that and uh, once again um, I'm really going to miss everybody you know we do these these uh, meetups all over the nation every year and then one of the highlights of course is you know some of the people that we get a chance to meet with as we travel to all be able to come together and um, and spend that week together or even just a few days together is just something I'm really going to miss. Um, but continue to pray for us. We'll pray for you according to Romans. No, what's that? According to Philippians chapter 1 around verse 9 and 10, it talks about the fact that uh, we should pray one for another, that we would advance and grow in knowledge and wisdom and that we would continue to uh, abound in love one toward another and so i just pray that you will keep us in prayer as we go through these difficult times many people have asked us how we're doing in california as of now everybody that i know is uh coronavirus free and um there's some restrictions that have been placed on the city but as far as the people are concerned, um, we're not on any type of heavy lockdown right now, like say for instance, San Francisco. We don't have a curfew, but um, it's been advised, like it's been here in all over the nation. Um, but just to let you all know, of course, I still believe that ultimately Yah is in control and in charge of everything, and we trust him, uh, that he is working out his plan. And my prayer for Israel is, that we don't try to alter his plan, but that we line up with whatever he's doing, give him honor and give him glory and give him praise, knowing that these are the signs that we used to be looking for that signal the fact that the end is near. And I'm not talking about in a doomsday situation, I'm talking about the end is near as far as our redemptions I are looking forward to our king of kings and master of masters returning for his people so um one love to the 12 tribes of israel that have been scattered worldwide once again morios yahoo of the ark and we will um continue to pray for you continue to pray for us we're going to keep putting up videos we're going to keep posting um and we're going to keep doing the work of the kingdom and of course, when things change, if things change, then we'll be back to doing what we do. And that is, of course, keeping these feast days out here in California um, on a national and international level. So one love, Toda Rabah, for taking our time to watch this video.